Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we currently have this faction brewing here. We also have too many vassals and we'll handle that in a moment. I just want to check here, what is their actual strength? Okay, we'll have to let that take forward and find out, but I believe that they were right on the cusp of being able to do it. So that's fine, we can definitely deal with that. Now, we've got a location down over here where we've got a number of low-level vassals. What can we do about that? Well, this is all part of the Kingdom of Hungary, but we can definitely create this duchy title here and grant that over to this fine gentleman, and three vassals will go with. So, I mean, that makes things better. We're now two direct vassals above. This area out over here might be a doable area. Nope, we would have to re usurp that. Okay, so that's not an option for the time being. There's these two down here, but I'm not too concerned about that. I'm wondering about these two Jamanas over here. We can transfer this guy, which we definitely want to do. But what is the De Jure Kingdom borderline over here? Yeah, this should be under White Roos. Why aren't these showing up as being under White Roos? I don't know. They should be. I want to do both of these. So you can have that guy, and you can have this guy as well. Fantastic. So that's wonderful. We've got a couple of duchies down over this way as well. Not much we can do about that right now. We need to get the kingdom level titles. Okay, so we've got an empty council position here. We'll put in our spy master. King of France will be absolutely fine for that role. Cool. We've got about 30,000 gold. Well, let's see about spending that, shall we? We can definitely boost up our archers here a lot. So... Rope walks aren't really going to be helpful yet until we start getting up into, like, level 3, and then it'll be helpful. For the time being, we may want to upgrade our militia barracks first here. That's reasonably fine. So we'll just continue to go through and get what upgrades we can here. Most of these are quite expensive, but we're also getting to the point where there's only so many things that we can build, right? So that is fine. We'll continue to work our way through this. We've still got a fair amount of gold after doing that. So I guess we can just invest this gold into cities and shrines within our territory here. If there's enough of that. Which it looks like there is. So that'll be okay. Well, there's some of it anyway. <laughs> yeah, you'll do. Uh, you're maxed for now. You'll do. Yep, a guild here is fine. A guild here is fine. And you're maxed. Okay. Okay. So that'll do for now. That's our gold spent, kinda. That's most of our gold spent. Now, I wanna take a look at what we've got going on with our men at arms and our accolades. Okay, so accolades look good. You've got a successor, you've got a successor, you have a successor, and you don't. So, Donkaron. Okay, so we'll pay to recruit him. Skill 10. Nothing too major here, so that's fine. We'll force him to be a knight, and he is now going to be the successor for the Scorpion of Kong North. He is significantly older than our current acclaimed knight, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so now I want to tick it forward, and we'll see what this faction ends up looking like. So we're at 281 right now, but we need to let that update. I believe it just updated. No, nope, still 281. There we go. So like 70, 71, right around there. The threshold is 75. So he can probably fire that if he really wanted to. I'd kind of like to just provoke the faction, to be honest. That would be ideal. Let's drop our men at arms maintenance per dread. That'll be fine. And this faction is the only faction that's in this category, right? Yeah, this should be going away shortly. But I would like to provoke this faction into firing. Hmm. The leader of the populist uprising is currently imprisoned. We could execute him. Which is fine. We'll burn him at the stake. What does that do to the populists? They went away. Okay, beautiful. So that looks good. We'll decline to release our tax collector from prison. I'm sure he's doing a very good job in prison, and this is acceptable. Cool. So, next up, Britannia. I would like to go after him. What do we have here? Earldom? Oh, we can press the Kingdom of England claim now. 
Beautiful. I'm going to demand this guy's conversion. He would not really accept this. Uh, he has landed. Let's send him a gift first to boost up his opinion a little bit. That'll give us slightly higher odds. Even if he doesn't accept this, he'll do it for a hook. I'll not bargain for his soul. Even if he doesn't accept it, I still want to press his claim there. Assuming that no one else has a cheaper claim. Okay. So we're not going to get Worcestershire. <laughs> well, that's awkward. At least according to this. Is that de jure part of the Kingdom of England, though? It is. So we should get it. Okay, that should be fine. Let's get this taken care of. So now I want to raise up men-at-arms here. Let's raise up a few levy troops as well. He's only got like 6,000 troops, so this isn't a big deal. So this should be more than sufficient troop count. Now what we need, of course, is men-at-arms. But let's get our troops heading on down here. Our levies, anyway. Factions are being created, which is deeply unsurprising. We could gain some prestige here. We're kind of low on prestige, so we probably do want to do that. Okay, we've got about 10 days left here. And our men-at-arms are showing up. Beautiful. So this siege will progress very quickly now that our men-at-arms are here. 15% war score from that? Noted. Is that his only army that he's levying against us? Okay, that's kind of wild. He's got, like, no army there. Well, let's station besiegers here, and let's go stack wipe his army quick. Oh, there is more army coming in over here. Uh, did he have holdings out over this way? No. Where are they coming from? Where indeed are they coming from? They must have, like, raised down here and sailed around. Well, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to head on down over this way and continue to siege. We're at 40% war score right now. And I want to hop over this way and give battle with these lads. Perfect. 55% war score. That's a stack wipe. And we'll head down here. That's, of course, also a stack wipe. War's over. So at this point, England is ours. We'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. So that is delicious. Now... We want to grab Britannia. This is not a created title anymore. So we're going to grab that. That is wonderful. Now, we are above our vassal limit, which isn't all that surprising. Anybody that we can transfer over here? Well, there's definitely these guys out over here. And I would like to get that dealt with. It's just very awkward over here right now. This guy's fighting a war. And we need to wait for that war to be over. So I don't think this is the way to go right now. We should probably come down over this way instead and make, like, Apulia. We'll make that and grant that to this lady. Duchy of Apulia. Yep. There you go. That should solve that problem temporarily. It's definitely not going to be a permanent solution to that problem. We're truced with Lithuania right now, and I want to check how long that will be. 11 months? Okay. If I recall correctly, we had a claimant here. That claimant appears to no longer be with us. Twenty-five reasons. She would just come to court. She's 59. I'm going to invite her. She... No, she wouldn't accept this. What? Okay, I'm going to send her a gift. Now she'll accept it. And I'm going to start swaying this lady as a backup in case she dies in the next year. So we'll just do that for now. And then we need to spend a year, right? We need to just wait here. So Sicily, we are not truced with. We could absolutely go after Sicily more. I'm wondering about... Oh, that's part of the Byzantine Empire. Yeah, that's not going to happen. What about claimants? 65 reasons, 170 reasons, and then female claimants. We can't press a woman's claim on a man here. That is unfortunately not going to be a thing. I would love to do it, but we cannot. Just because of the cultural rules. And none of these would come anyway. So that's not really an option. What about Croatia? 
We've got some de jure lands here. I would love to get Croatia fully under our control with a kingdom level claim. That would be ideal. Although I highly doubt that we'll get that. Yeah, maybe if we got a claimant in here. Court Jester. Patrilineal marriage and employed by liege. Okay. And player heir. So that's not going to happen. In which case, we should probably... I'm wondering about, like, de jure up over here. That would be the Kingdom of Hungary, right? No, that's part of the Kingdom of Croatia. So that's not a great option, then. I was going to say we could, we could conquer out this way and get the Kingdom of Hungary. And then use that as a de jure against Croatia. But that's not a good option, either. Okay, we just don't have great options right now. We're truced here. We could definitely continue to carve into these areas. Or we could come down over here. If I recall correctly, this was fairly exhausted as well. Although we're not truce to Palestine right now. That's pretty decent. To be honest. We could try to convert this guy over and press that claim quick. He did indeed convert, although he thought we were miserable. I mean, maybe we are. That that might be fair enough. What do we got going on here? I mean, we're feeling fine. We're doing okay. Cool. I don't think we're all that miserable. I know that he just didn't like us, but... <laughs> okay, whose claim was that? That was this lad's claim. Okay, perfect. We'll declare that war, and they're actually sieging down here already. Let's raise up our forces here. We'll raise just men-at-arms. I don't see a reason to raise anyone else. And we're going to head on in over here. We'll be there in about 50 days. Fantastic. So we're definitely making some gains out over this way. We do have some opportunities opened up to us out here, of course. And we'll look at dealing with that. But I'd really like to get Europe under our control. And we're making progress here. These guys would be good to go after, but... For the time being, there's a lot of enemies to attack and not that much time to do it in. Like, it's 1390. We're making good progress, but we've got a long ways to go. Okay, so let's get this guy out of here. And we actually captured him. Okay, wonderful. So we'll enforce those demands. That was definitely not 11 months, but that... Actually, they're now Syria. Because this guy is now the king of Palestine. Gotcha. That'll do it. Okay, fantastic. I like it. That's really, really good. So we could go out over, like, this direction. Surely we don't have any good claims over here, right? I mean, we've got a little bit of de jure, apparently. Heavy on the little bit. So what about... Oh, this is an empire tier realm. I did not realize that this was an empire tier. How many other Empire Tier Realms are there, even? Probably not all that many, if any. That might be the only other Empire Tier Realm in the game. Other than us. Well, that's definitely interesting. We'd need to carve into them, and I'm wondering about the Empire title itself. Okay, so that's the size of the Empire title. Interesting. Well, for the time being, I'm not that concerned about coming out over here. I really want to attack Lithuania, and so let's clean up a little bit out over this way. 840 or 532. This is cheaper. So we're going to do that. We've got Vladimir down over here, and I'm wondering about claims here. It'll have to be a duchy level. Sure, we can do this. I'm not super happy about it. We could also do one additional claim here. Perhaps Ruthenia? Just get that squared away. Yeah, that'll be fine. So we'll get these three going. We're low on prestige at this point to continue our conquests. So we'll have to wait for our prestige to raise up a little bit. Let's get our men-at-arms here. I want to raise a few levy troops because I'm interested in having a siege force for these three armies. So that'll be fine. And in the meantime, of course, we're going to continue to get ourselves some prestige. 
Okay, this is more than enough levy forces. We're just waiting on those men-at-arms now. They're about 60 days out. Sure. We'll just wait for them. This is fine. So they're going to do some sieging. That's not shocking. They are absolutely going to try to do stuff while they can. <laughs> they can't for very long. They don't have the time. So this is looking good. We're just waiting on those men-at-arms. About 20 days left here. 10 days left. And here they are. Beautiful. So let's get ourselves... No, I don't want to change the commander right now. I want to split off our bombards. Not our crossbowmen, our bombards. And somewhere around 20,000 levy troops will be more than sufficient. And then we'll put a siege leader in here, assuming that we have one. Yeah, here we go. You'll do. And over we go. Beautiful. Now, I want to come over this direction and give battle. Are the Poles good people? I mean, they're part of our empire. I think we'll take the prestige, though. So that'll be fine. I would normally say the Poles are good people because they are part of our empire and our vassals would get opinion from that, but I kind of want prestige right now. So there's that. So we're going to fight down over here. Absolutely no problem. Easy cleanup. And let's just continue to stack wipe these guys up over here. We'll slow siege this back probably as well. Yeah, that's going to stack wipe them. This war's over. They just don't know it yet. Beautiful. War is as expected over. Just letting that slow siege back. I don't think there's actually a reason to do it, but there we go. So next up, I want to head down over this direction. Although, where is their army? Down here? Okay, we can definitely work with that. That seems fine. Now, we're above our vassal limit, and we also don't necessarily want to hold this ourselves. That is all very, very expected. Vassal limit issues are going to become a further issue. This Duchy of Savo here. We're the King of Finland. Let's grant that title over to Sweden. And then ask him very politely to convert. There we go. Now we're two direct vassals above. But can we transfer anybody over? No. No de jure transfers. That's fine. From here, we probably should grant out this title. Putting us three direct vassals above. And then the duchy title we are going to create. Getting ourselves additional prestige. And that is going to go to this fine gentleman right here. Two vassals go with, putting us one direct vassal over. What's the kingdom situation out over here? Okay. We'll create the kingdom, and that should go to this guy, most likely. This is not really going to solve our problem, because we're still one direct vassal above, but that's okay. So down over here, we've got a pair of duchies. Yeah, that's going to be a little awkward for us. Okay. Down here is probably our best bet. So this is a Duchy of Ancona, and we'll grant that over to this guy. Two vassals go with, and that solves the problem for now. There will definitely be future problems with it. No doubt about that. That is going to be an ongoing struggle for us, keeping ourselves below the vassal limit. But for the time being, we've got a lot of headroom there. We've got a lot of headroom. It's mostly kings down over this way, but we definitely have a lot up in Europe that we can work on. And over here, too. Like, anywhere where we're kind of still on the frontiers, right? Most of these other locations have been dealt with at this point. There's a couple of duchies over here, actually. We could definitely make this kingdom title. We actually already have it. And that could go to this guy. So that would be the kingdom of Baleo Terenia, like this. There we go. That'll help some of that as well. Looks good. Now, back over this direction. What do we got going on here? So we sieged here, and we kind of fought these guys. I want to come down over this way next. Okay, we should be very close to done with this war very soon. So that looks fine. 
A soft approach is indeed best. Okay. Let's get in here. Yeah, we captured. Fantastic. We'll enforce these demands, and we're going to just head straight on down over here. Of course, we don't want to hold these titles ourselves, and that means that they, they need to be granted out. Where are they? Where is that holding? What holding do we have? Here. Was looking right at it, but it was hidden behind our banner. Okay, sure. <laughs> we're going to grant that over. That, of course, means that we're above our vassal limit, which is deeply unsurprising. And we're going to get this duchy created. Actually, usurped. No. Who are you? You're a vassal. Okay, so we can just grant vassals to rightful liege then. Done. Fantastic. That is absolutely wonderful. So down over this way we go. We want to get out of this war as soon as we can because we should be able to attack Lithuania very, very soon here. Yeah, we're no longer truce there. So that looks good. Purchase truce. Uh, For now, no. And yes, I'm aware of this up over here. We'll deal with that in a bit. Okay, so down we go. We'll get this war taken care of, and then these guys are, of course, going to be a bit of a problem. We're ignoring them for the moment, but we'll need to get after them fairly soon. So I want to grab a new steward here. That will be this guy. That'll be good. Uh, we must cull the sheep, definitely. No truces. No truces are going to happen. We don't like truces at this moment. So this battle is going to occur, and it's not going to go well for them. I can tell you that right now. They're going to stack wipe, and they're going to stack wipe twice. So we're going to hop up over here, continue to siege. And then we're going to, I guess, finish this up since it's so quick. What's this at 86? And now we're going to head back up over here. That'll take us five months to get there. This war is now over, and we'll enforce those demands. We, of course, need to grant all of these titles out. We don't want to hold them ourselves, and that also gives us too many direct vassals, which is deeply unsurprising. So let's create the title of the Duchy of Chernigov, and we'll grant that to this guy. Perfect. That'll put us one above. Actually, zero above. Okay. Cool. Any kingdom title over here? Actually, yeah. We can create the kingdom of Ruthenia. Where's the Dejure capital here? Keith. You know what? That's absolutely fine. I'm going to grant you the title of Kingdom of Ruthenia. And you can be possibly released. But I don't think so. We'll just leave you be for now. Excellent. So now we just need to eliminate this situation, right? So that is fine. We're going to get turned around here and all of our guys are going to head up over this way. I don't suppose that you want to just exit this war. No, they don't. I'm not shocked about that. But it'll take us a little bit to get up here. Must we be seen by our subjects? No, we mustn't be seen by our subjects. It's in fact the exact opposite. They'll, they're likely to murder us. That wouldn't be good. We would definitely not prefer that. So we've certainly made some progress here. No doubt about that. Yes, show this guy in. That'll be fine. So I want to eliminate their army. When is this going to be done? Four months maximum with this battle happening in 40 days? They might not actually finish that. Okay, let's grab Golden Aplomb. And we're sailing up this direction in order to siege their capital nice and quickly. So that looks very solid. We're making over a thousand gold a month, by the way. That's absurd. That is a crazy amount of gold per month. Hmm. Oh, this is our Empress? Sure. This guy can join our court. That's fine. So, this guy is now our designated heir. That's okay. I don't mind that. So, who is our current... Who, who would have been our heir? This guy? Yeah, he's a little on the old side, actually. I'm okay with a younger heir at this point. Ultimo Genitor is not a bad thing as long as they're of age. Okay, this war is now over. We'll enforce those demands and disband our troops.
Fantastic. So now what we want to do is attack Lithuania here. Oh, they managed to take this area over, I see. Cool. So we want to press this claim and demand her conversion. Actually, I'm going to send her a gift here, maybe? She's not very likely to convert because she's zealous. Let's demand her conversion and see what she wants. She refused. Okay. Well, we're still going to press her claim. I was just hoping to get a little cheaper of a prestige cost. But it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to wrap up our war against Lithuania, giving us all of Northern Europe, pretty much, under our control. Depending on where your definition of the boundary between Europe and Asia is, I suppose. But that'll be absolutely wonderful. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible. Including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Tommy, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.